I'm Laura Ribbons, and this is P.E. with Laura, and it's Friday, Celebration Friday. Hopefully you had a great week. I just want to come in here, and you can see all my steps in the back. How many of you used to do step class? Well, we still do. Really quite fun. Okay, just a few things. Weights, have them on either side of you. Okay, I'm using 10-pound weights. We're doing our chest, flies, and our back. A lot of stability I'm asking of you today with those abs being on the floor. We've got a five minute segment. Let's keep it simple, keep it clean, and hopefully targeted muscle groups, and hope we're gonna hopefully avoid using other muscle groups we don't need for this. Stabilization maybe, but we should not have any neck pain. Okay, get yourself down on the ground. Like I said, keep it simple. Bring one thigh into your chest. Hold on to that thigh and take that leg and straighten it up. So, how's your flexibility today? Press your butt to the ground, take that foot point and flex. It's a nice stretch of the back of the leg. Your hamstrings, the back of the leg, they come, they uh, cross your hip joint, come through the pelvis, and then back of the leg to the back of the knee. So lengthen. Now press your butt to the floor and your heel to the ceiling and just hold it. Get a nice static stretch. Get a leg up. Meanwhile, do you see when I stretch my legs? My torso is solid on the ground. Point and flex. Now, if your leg is right here, that's fine. Just put it where you can. Have it lengthened. Good. Press through the heel, butt to the floor. Heel pressing down. Heel pressing up, butt to the floor. Back of that leg. Good. Toe up. Press forward with that bottom leg. So the whole trick here is this foot pressing into this heel, forcing this hamstring to stretch, and press your butt to the floor. And switch legs. Press it forward. You might be giving yourself some help. That's cool. And I love how some of you have shared how you're modifying. So when we go for our 100 with the abs, some of you are modifying, just focusing on ribs to hips. Okay, feet down. Thumbs and little finger. Find your rib cage. Thumb, little finger on the hip bone. Ribs to hips is this tiny little movement right here. It's almost as if you have a drawstring bag on the hip bones, and as you cinch the drawstring bag, everything pulls into the middle. Exhale into the middle. I want you to feel hollow in there. Exhale. Exhale. Exhale, your breath is very important. Exhale, fingertips, side of your head. You can have the towel. I love the towel idea. Now, the morning, Lori Powell got me into using a hat. I didn't get that organized this morning. <laughs> and between the first video and this, I had to quickly make a smoothie for my son, let the dogs out. So it's a quick little interval trying to get all your jobs done. Okay, we've got a towel supporting my head. My job right now, lift the, my weight off the floor. So your head is about 10 pounds. It's relaxing, my neck's relaxed. My arms are tense because I'm holding myself up. Now, you have a big long muscle down the front of your body. Just exhale, trying to shorten that muscle. <laughs> Not all ab work needs to be crunching, but it is, you're trying to use all the different types of contractions, which we're gonna do right now. So concentric, I always remember because the letter C is at the beginning of the alphabet, it's shortening, the muscle is shortening as I come up, exhale. And the muscles you want, healthy muscles that are full of water, can't tint, Drink tons of water. Exhale. So that's a concentric contraction. Now, on the way up, the weight of your body wants to go down. So I'm going to slowly lower the, to the ground. That's eccentric. So shortening. Now I'm lengthening with resistance. If I take my time going back down to the ground, that muscle's going to have to work so I don't fall. Give me five more, four more, three, 
three more, two, and just hold it right there. So now the muscle's contracted, but I'm not lengthening or shortening it. That's an isometric contraction. Keep it tight, keep it tight right there. Neck relaxed and slowly down. Okay, let's find another way of working those muscles. Carefully rock and roll up. All right, give me a few seconds. Some of you I know need to put the knees to the side. Okay, we're only gonna do four of these. Are you ready? Tuck your gentleman under. My abdominals are gonna have to control me. So this is gonna be, they're lengthening and controlling you. So it's an eccentric. Are you ready? Pull your navel in. Take a breath. Exhale, slowly down. Super slow, super slow. Now, you feel that? If you can roll up, awesome. If not, rock and roll up. If not, put your knees to the side and get up. You ready? Pick how you're gonna do it. I'll wait for you to get there. Ready? Tailbone under. Slowly. Come on, come on, slowly. Can you stop halfway and hold it? Slowly down. What about stop right there? Stop right there. Slowly down. Well, right then, you can really feel it in the upper part of your abdominal area. Inhale, exhale. Get up however you're going to get up. Ready? Slowly down. Control it. 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 Whoa, how'd you do? One more. Good morning. Inhale. Exhale up. Tuck the tailbone under. And slowly down. And in real time, in Grand Cayman, it's pouring rain. Abdomen. So when I finish, I have to go take all the umbrellas down. So they're going to end up with this wind in the neighbor's yard. Okay. All right. Now you have your weights. Pick up your head, pick up one weight, and then grab the other weight. All right, let's do the same thing with those contractions. Feet strong. We are seven minutes in. Ready? All the way up. I'd rather make sure you understand what you're doing. So as we bolt through other exercises and then other days, then you get more out of it. All right, shoulders down, abs in. I would love it if you bring your knees into your chest, because then I know your back is firm. Okay, here we go. Slowly control down, and you squeeze the arms together to come up. Slowly down, and squeeze the arms to come up. So your chest muscles are shortening concentrically when you go up, and as you control the weights down, your chest muscles are lengthening. And take it back up. Take it back down. You got it. And exhale up. And slowly back down. And exhale up. And slowly back down. For those of you that were waiting patiently between the two videos this morning, thank you. I'm feeling very blessed that I took the dogs out when I did because they're not going to be able to go out now. Come on, give me four more. One. Control down. Two, control down. Three, control down. Four, control down. Back up. All right. Flies. Now, for your first one, put your feet down. Give yourself some base. Open up halfway, and then bring them back together. One more time. Open up halfway, and bring them together. Do you have control? If you do, awesome. If you feel you need to lighten your weights, change them. You ready? Let's go. The chest is stretching and now is shortening. Take it out to the side and bring it up. Yes, you have shoulder work going on as well. You've got ab work going on as long as you are really pressing your back into the ground. Now contract your abs. We just talked about how to do it. Pull your abs in. Pull them in, bring it up. We have four more. Open on up. I know you're all looking at those steps thinking, 
I want to go to a step class. Well, come on over. And exhale up. And one more. And exhale up. Feet down, waist down. Head and shoulders. Ground. Good. Now, if you can, go for it. If not, no big deal. Put your knees to the side and get yourself up. If you can roll up one vertebrae at a time, fabulous. Abs in, ready to go. How'd you do? All right, get yourself sit comfortably. I want one arm up. Now the butt, your butt that goes to that arm, press it into the ground. Lengthen. I know a lot of yapping this morning, but hopefully you got something out of that and it brought value to you. Other side, stretch. Rotation. Use your breath. Inhale, exhale. Hey, I appreciate it. This is fun. I'm going to go out and take down the umbrellas because the wind is howling. Um, I love you guys. I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day.